Hello everyone and welcome back to A Swift Look. I'm Zoe and today we're going to be going over Taylor Swift's two shows in Germany that she performed over the weekend. We're going to talk about Travis Kelsey getting back to Kansas City, a very scary stalker situation that Taylor has had to deal with yet again. But let's first start with recapping Taylor's two shows in Germany over the weekend. She was playing in Gelsenkirchen, I believe is how you pronounce the city that she was in. But if we have any native German listeners, viewers, let me know if I pronounced that correctly. Um, we talked about last week how Travis was at the first show. Travis was also at the second show. So kind of surprising because we knew he had to get back to Kansas City for training camp and all that jazz. But he ma- he managed to stay for two shows. Um, and then she did the third show and he was not there, which makes sense. So let's go through the surprise song she did. So on night two, which is, again, one of the shows that Travis was at she did a combination a mashup of speak now and hey steven excellent and a mashup of this is me trying and labyrinth love love both of these mashups so much i'm a very big fan of speak now and i'm also a very big fan of fearless and so the fact that she combined a fearless song and a speak now song well she combined she played speak speak now i think it's great i think it's fun i love it and then The combination of This Is Me Trying and Labyrinth is very interesting as well. I also like to, I feel like my favorite um, surprise songs, like like the combo, is when she does a mashup, when she does old and new, and when she very very clearly like takes songs from different times. And so the fact that she did two songs from her like very early years and then two songs from more recent times is kind of fun because you kind of get best of both worlds. So love that. Thought it was great. Then night three. So again, this is a night that Taylor or that Travis is not there. She does a mashup of Paper Rings and Stay, Stay, Stay. Now, this is a big deal because in Stay, 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 a song off of Red, she talks about wearing a football hair. Well, the the song is about two people in a fight. And she talks and in the song, she mentions that the guy in the song comes in wearing a football helmet, Um, which, you know, at the time is meant nothing but now obviously we're putting it in the context of Travis Kelsey who wears a football helmet and then paper rings is all about wanting to marry somebody with a paper ring that you love them so much you don't need a diamond you don't need a beautiful engagement ring you would you would marry them with paper rings and so the combination of the two songs really got a lot of people thinking like okay this is very Travis Kelsey coded this is a Travis Kelsey song kind of surprising she didn't sing it the night he was actually there but maybe she was just like I don't know I don't know why she chose to save it for the final night um but love that mashup I love paper rings I think that's a very underrated song off of lover so great mashup and then she did a mashup of it's time to go and Better Man. You guys, Better Man is one of my absolute favorite Taylor Swift songs, honestly, ever. It is one of my favorites, and it's a vault track off of the Red, Taylor's version album. It's a song she wrote back in the Red era, but she gave it to Little Big Town. She didn't keep it for herself, so they sang the song, and they they had the song. And then when she released Red, Taylor's version, she did her version of Better Man, It is one of my favorite. I just think it is like quintessential Taylor Swift. It is excellent writing. It's just so, 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 so good. I would have loved to have heard that song live. Genuinely, it's up there as one of my tops, top favorites that I would have wanted to hear live. So if I had to pick which night I would have rather been been at, I think I would have picked night three just simply for Better Man, honestly. But both nights are great. You can't go wrong either way. As always, let me know which night you would prefer in the comments um scary situation we also found out that a stalker one of taylor swift's stalkers was arrested i believe after night one um and when travis was there he was like stalking taylor and i guess he was also stalking travis um he had tickets to the show and he was detained once he entered the venue um which is very very scary and basically was um he was detained until Taylor left, which was July 20th. Um, Very scary. And just once again, makes me very sad for Taylor Swift. I mean, the amount of stalkers and just freaks 
that she has to deal with on a consistent basis is so terrifying. I can't even imagine that feeling of like just being unsettled and always worrying about somebody coming after you and it and, and Everything about Taylor is so public. People know where she lives. People know where she is all the time. Like, it's just, that's a very scary, scary feeling. So I'm glad they found the guy. I'm glad that that it was dealt with and handled. Um, just overall, not a great situation. And I'm glad that, it, you know, she's obviously safe and everything's fine, at least for now. We're, we're entering like the home stretch of this leg of the heiress tour. We have like a month-ish left, which is crazy that... It feels like we just started the Europe leg, kind of. I mean, I guess it started in like beginning, middle of May, but we have one month left. I kind of get the sense, I don't know. I'm I'm sure Taylor Swift still loves performing every single night. I'm sure it's so fun to go out and see the fans and all that stuff, but I kind of have to imagine there's a part of her that's like ready to be done. And this is a very long, long stretch. Like she has not had a week off since she started this, leg of the tour in the beginning of May. Like, yeah, she's had days off here and there, but I'm kind of surprised that she didn't even take like a week or a two week break in the middle of her European tour to like decompress, go back to the States. Um, None of that. She's just like going, 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 going. So I have to imagine that by the time she's done, she's going to be ready for a good long break. Um, And I kind of have to imagine that she'll spend most of that with Travis since basically by the time she finishes, football season will be back up and running. So it's kind of crazy that we're getting to those last few um, few weeks, few dates, but we are heading there. And then obviously we have the North American section and then the tour is done. Um, Travis, as I mentioned, is back in Kansas City for training camp. There's been videos, photos of him. He's back with his mustache again. For those who don't know, it's a Travis Kelsey tradition tradition that every training camp he has a mustache in honor of his head coach Andy Reid um and what's also crazy is I don't know if other people remember but it was it was this time last year that the questions were kind of being asked to Travis about Taylor Swift because he had done that he that podcast clip of his where he said he wanted to give her the friendship bracelet, like that first went public. And it was at training camp. I remember specifically somebody asked him about it and Travis just gave kind of a weird answer that made me think, oh, he might actually be in contact with Taylor Swift because he didn't laugh it off or joke it off in a way that would suggest he doesn't know her. It made me think, oh, he he must have gotten in contact with her. And I, and I do feel like Taylor and Travis first started like texting and communicating while Travis was at training camp last season. So we've really kind of come full circle. It is crazy that it's been a year in a lot of ways since they made that first contact. Um, time is flying, but also feels it feels like a long time ago too in, in some ways because so much has happened in that time. I don't know. Very, very, very crazy. But that is that is the updates of now about Taylor Swift. She's, in, um, she's still in Germany th- this week, so I'm, I'm sure... Later this week, we will recap those shows. I also forgot to mention, too, like Anne Hathaway was at Taylor's shows last week. I think Emma Stone was at a show last week. We actually had a decent number of um, VIP guests that were in attendance for those shows. So when she continues on her tour this week, maybe there'll be other surprise guests or VIPs that we can discuss, other news we can get into. As always, make sure to subscribe to our channel, follow us on social media, and we'll see you next time. Bye.